today we're taking a look at this here super cheap mini VGA to AV converter. Hello everybody and welcome. My name is Nikki and you're watching Tech ZA. So, recently I went online and I was looking for a VGA to AV converter for a project I had up and upcoming. So, what I realized quickly is that these here um, converters are actually quite expensive. Most of them are like over 500 bucks, 500 rands, that is South African rands. And that is quite expensive for me because the project I was working on didn't really justify buying such an expensive converter. So I was gonna quit on it and uh, cancel it completely. But then I came across these little converters right here. They were like cheaper by a magnitude. For context, this here little converter cost me only 140 rands with free shipping. That's like less than $10 for context. So, yeah, without any further ado, let's take a look at it. So let's first have a look at the packaging and see what it says on the packaging. So on the front we have a little window. Where you can see the unit itself. And then the sticker just there. It says HD video converter on the front. Uh, full HD 1080p. I find it hard to believe that through an AV port, but okay. And then as we go around to the back. You found the, find the list here of some features. See? Okay, so let's open this up and see what we got. Okay, so in the package, you get a little. That's a mini USB cable, so yeah, that's kind of outdated, I guess. Seems kind of short also. Yeah, so do bear that in mind. I guess this is like half a meter or something. Maybe a foot and a half or foot or something. I'm not sure about feet and length. So that's not so good at um, predicting those. Okay, and then we have the actual unit. Okay, it's a small little box, just basically has a switch on the one side, the USB that seems to be for power, just so that's what this cable is for, it's just for power, you plug it into your laptop or computer just for power, or a power brick even. Okay, and then on the one side we have our AV ports, it does also support your audio to come be put through from the... 3.5 millimeter jack just on the other side it has a VGA here and one thing that I did realize immediately now is that the print on the casing is completely the wrong way around everything so you see the VGA is the input but it says output here and input on the RCA side uh, yeah, so that's kind of not right. Even this is completely wrong here. Here it says AV, and on the other side it says VGA and audio. It should have been the other way around. So whoever designed the casing completely screwed it up. Or at least the printing of the casing. But otherwise, I guess it's fine. At that price, I can overlook that little mistake. Okay, so yeah, I don't know what else there is to say about this. I have to check it, check how well it works now, because uh, that kind of a price difference in comparison to the more expensive ones, I'm not so sure about this thing. I'm wondering if it's even going to work at all. If shipping wasn't too bad, it's 
the first time I've ever ordered off of uh, this site. I ordered it off of uh, uh, takealot.com. Uh, now, takealot.com is kind of like uh, Amazon in South Africa. Sort of, but not exactly. They're kind of different also, so... Yeah. But... Yeah. Their service wasn't too bad. They kept me up to date throughout the whole process and everything. And I received it before the date they scheduled it to be um, delivered at. Like two days early even, so it was pretty good. So now let's go and have a look at just how well this little converter performs in real life. So let me get everything set up on my projector because that's actually all I have that supports this. That is what I intend to use this on because I have a projector that has a dead VGA processor on its board and I can't get that particular processor. So yeah. Okay, let's go and have a look. Okay, so now here I have things set up. This is how I have the set up. I have the little converter box right here. And it runs with a VGA cable into my laptop over here. And the projector's uh, AV port is right here. I have this AV cable. And I'm plugging this AV cable into the little box. I'm not going to be testing the audio because that's basically just a pass through the way I understand it. They don't really indicate clearly. But yeah. Oh and then I have the uh, USB cable plugged into my laptop here also on the USB just for power. Doesn't have an indicator light or anything to tell you it's on but yeah that's the basic setup right there. It should work that way. Let's see. Okay, so here we have our little setup running now, and honestly, it doesn't look too bad actually for that price. So, the color is pretty good, the video quality is actually terrible, but it's what is to be expected of an AV cable, so yeah, I can accept this. For watching video at least, it's fine if you want to watch like anime or something like that that is low quality even more so then it's fine but when you get around to working on it on the desktop actually you're gonna find a lot more trouble then so let's take a look at that so on the desktop you can see it actually looks pretty good the color accuracy is well enough I guess for this kind of setup but the problem that I do have with this is that at the bottom where the taskbar is supposed to be and on the right, no, the left side, sorry, of the screen, it is cutting off a lot of the screen. It's cutting off almost my entire taskbar at the bottom and like another, yeah, little bit on the other side as well, right here and there. So yeah, that's a look at it. And also I don't know if you'd be able to realize it on the camera because it's not that clear, but we have a little bit of like lines showing on the screen. It's not completely clear. So yeah, that could also get bothersome, especially on the desktop. And reading text on this is impossible. Even if it's set at 1080p, don't believe it. Yeah. So that's a look at the quality of it. So after having a look at the mini VJ to AV converter, would I recommend it to anyone who is looking for something like this? Well, that is a more complicated question than you would think. So first of all, yes, I would recommend it definitely this little converter, but only if you need something at the low price and you can't afford to purchase anything more expensive because you shouldn't be expecting too much out of it 
I mean, this thing is less than ten dollars. It's only a hundred and forty bucks in South Africa. So, yeah, definitely go and get this one if you need one and you don't have the cash to purchase anything more expensive or you're like me and you don't need an expensive one for the particular purpose that you have but otherwise I would recommend rather looking for something a little more expensive perhaps it would be better for you that but I haven't tested any of the better ones so I don't know if they're really any better but yeah that's my conclusion this little thing is worth its money. I would definitely buy it again. Okay guys, thank you for watching. Please like this video if you liked it and you found it um, interesting. And do subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Okay, okay, bye.